Hello, mates. Let's see. Hello, boys and girls. Today, we are going to be making a lovely risotto. We're going to be using some peas. It's going to be delicious, and I can't wait for you to see it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to prep the onion. We're going to cut it nice and thinly, dice it, and we're going to get it sweating in the pan. Okay, so I'm going to chop the onion in half, but I'm going to leave this core end on because it holds it together really nicely and it means you can chop it nice and fine. Okay, so initially we're going to chop it down this way, really nice and thin. But we're not going to chop it right to the end. Again, we just want that onion core to hold it all together so it's much easier to chop. And do as many as you can and as finely as you can until you get to the top. Once you get to the top, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it lengthways. Again, as finely as you can. Very, very important to have a sharp knife when you do this. If you don't have a sharp knife when you do this, it's not gonna work and not gonna be easy for you and you're gonna find yourself kind of mashing the onion rather than chopping it. And the final chop we're gonna do is down the length like this. And then you'll see that it's super, super nice and fine. You may have noticed I haven't had any goggles on or any spoons in my mouth and that's because I'm double R, but you're welcome to use it if you need it. Once your pan's as hot as Halle Berry, get your oil in and start sweating them onions. We're going to sweat the onions for about five minutes and about one minute before the onions are done, we're going to add the garlic in. You don't want the garlic to burn, that's why we add it so late. You can chop the garlic if you want, but I much prefer to do it on a grater. It's much more straightforward and much more simple. It takes less time and you won't cut your finger off. Once the onion's got a little bit of colour, we're going to add the rice in. Things are going to happen quite quickly now. Rice is going to go in for 30 seconds. We're then going to add the wine and then we're going to add some stock. So quick, quick, quick. I was trying to think about why you add the rice at that point, because it seems like you should add it when you've added some stock, but you don't. You just add it then and that's the way that you do it. So once the rice has been in for 30 seconds or until it's turning a little bit translu translucent, <laughs> translucent uh, you, we're going to add the wine. Not all of it though, have a little bit yourself. And if you don't pour yourself a glass now, there's something wrong with you. So get it topped up some. Once the wine has completely evaporated, we're going to start adding the stock. And I like to do it a little bit at a time and continually stirring. Doesn't matter too much if you can't stir it continually, but that's what I like to do. Okay, so once you've added a little bit of stock and it's completely evaporated, that's when to add a little bit more stock. But get in there, look how good this looks already. As you're adding the stock, you want to make sure you try the rice. Because you don't want it to be overcooked. You want it to be al dente, that means to the tooth. So now we've got the base of our risotto, we're going to add some big, 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 boy, big boy flavor. And you could add mushrooms here, you could add, you could add butternut squash and blue cheese, you could add parsnip, you could add whatever you want. Today, I'm going to do pea, British garden pea. And the pea is going to be blended with some cream in here. My mate Russell is going to help us out. And yeah, we'll add that to the risotto and that'll be it, I think. It won't be it, but we'll carry on adding more stuff. You want to keep a couple of peas back for a little bit of presentation at the end, especially if you're on a date and you want to impress a boy or a girl. So now that's all done, we're going to add some butter, some parmesan, and we're going to season it real, real nice. Just remember, you might want to add a bit of stock at the end to get, loosen up the consistency. Obviously, I don't need to because I'm a proper legend. All right, so time to play up now. Grab your bowl, and we're going to add some in. And this is where we're going to slap the body. And this levels out the risotto, and makes it perfectly flat. So it looks very professional. OK, 
Okay, so that's my pea risotto done. Should take 20 minutes from start to finish. It's really a lot easier than people think. Give it a bloody go. Mm, it's good.